The stereotype was basically Jamaican smoke ganja. Now everybody, and so there's a you tea. need to talk proper when you come here. How do I talk proper? We have coaches, we have justice of the peace. I'm a counselor and I'm also a revolutionary speaker. I've been running the whole thing. Yeah, so there's, there's good business in Monopoly for them because they finance the election and put whoever they want in power so they can continue their monopoly. You guys are used to eating it this time? When you back here, make you know, for take over, make your twin call it and say you must be a soldier. Yaga ye, yaga yo, sir. Let me know. So reggae is the root of all music to me. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So we live in like a movie. Like movie, we no trophy. King time we unique, that's why them choose we. But toast on the hill, they so we so be. We say we live in like a movie. Yeah, we are fit a bit up and anywhere we go, they got them waiting up a king time. What's up guys, I'm finally here in Jamaica, my first time here and um, I'm gonna be doing something special with you today. I'm gonna be going on a ride along. I'm gonna just be going around the city of Kingston, Jamaica, just showing you different parts, cool parts. But I gotta give a disclaimer, right? It's my first time in Jamaica and I'm not really too familiar with all of Jamaican culture. So, I'm just gonna let you know if I ask certain questions, don't get upset if I don't know certain things, all right? This is your chance to educate us us, so many of us from around the world what it is to be Jamaican living in Kingston all right so I got a in, special individual showing me around town Panther son they carry it they ain't believe in us Panther son did you know a thing going on I sell boss and me and selling cup Panther son for y'all Panther son is a famous Jamaican dub play DJ who is also a producer known to work with many mainstream artists to include DJ Khaled in fact, he is credited in DJ Khaled's latest album titled God Did. Shout out to DYTV for making the connection. DYTV is a channel that films documentaries on travel, cooking, music, and more. You should most definitely check them out after watching this video. Link's in the description. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for Patterson now. He should be pulling up any minute and uh, we're gonna do a ride along at a city. He's just gonna be showing me dope spots. If you like that, Hit the like button, shout out to all my Jamaican Wagwan. All right, let's go. Yo, 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 what's up? Right. <laughs> oh, we live. What's good, yeah, homie? <laughs> let's do we it. Live, Kingston, Jamaica. So what's the plan for the day? Food are the plan. They come to Jamaica, ganja and food. <laughs> Ganja and food, that's how it is in Jamaica, ganja and food. One of the big, biggest things exported from Jamaica is your music. When I time I think that's a weed still. <laughs> <laughs> Over here I got one of the biggest things export. Besides from ganja, it's our music. Yeah, music, reggae music, dancehall music, you understand, skia, whole heap of thing, you understand? Everything derives from reggae, hip hop come from reggae, you see me? Dance all come from reggae. You understand? So reggae is the root of all music to me. You know, it's not about just Jamaica. It's like the root of the world. So Jamaica is basically the root of the world. You understand? That's how I see it. Yeah, man. The root of the world, man. And you can see we have a lot of improvements. For example, look over there. That's a solar panel field. Solar panel field? That's at the airport. Isn't it? Yeah. Solar panel. What is this gonna be used to power? It powers the whole airport. Oh, oh. Yeah, that powers the whole airport. The solar panels. So they, they use this one as a wasteland, and they're using it now. That's the first time I've seen this. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know that the airport is powered by this. You see how many of them? Wow, wow. I the didn't know that. Whole land. Always hot out here. It's always hot, and this is uninterrupted sun. Jamaica has come a long way from being, you know, just a little island with one airport. Now we have like three airports. You know, we have two major airports and one private airport in St. Mary. So, yeah, man, what would I vibes? The first thing first, you come to Jamaica, you have to get a jelly. Yeah, that's what I say. It's tradition. What's what's a jelly? Jelly is like a coconut. 
from a tree, you know, the, the big, the raw coconut before you take out, because coconut have two stages. There's a jelly, and then it goes to the inside of the jelly, you have a coconut. Right. The regular coconut that you guys know that you cook with and all of that, that's inside of the jelly. So that's when the jelly gets hard, it becomes coconut. But when the jelly, before it reaches coconut stage, it has a stage that you can drink the water. So that same water becomes the outer shell inside the coconut and then it just evolves. You know, so this the famous jelly man. Right here, so we're right, about to pull up. We're about to pull up. Okay, cool, you know, cool. The, the man's busy like it's, 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 it's you know, we're exclusive. All kind of natural stuff. Yeah, yeah you can see yeah. he's busy. Now we're gonna see camera asking the body. Yeah man, yeah, you don't know my 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 virgin is there first time in come to Jamaica. Uh, me likes the movie star. Yeah man, I'm gonna make sure make him know that you have the first stop. You understand? Yeah I'm man. Star with camera up into your studio in US so I don't know like yeah. Jamaica gate here. Yeah? yeah man. Huh? Yeah, I want to make it all know so you have original jelly on the roots. Well, you know, I approve for the Georgia you know, just... What is all this right here? This is like uh, stuff you created? Yeah, man. It's all natural. It's product like dandelion, bitters, honey, coconut oil. Nice, jerk nice. season. We are, we are Jamaica, we feed natural. The two jelly there, quick and fast, my boss. Natural is the way. See there? Yeah, what, man. When are this? Bitters. Bitters. You know what bitters is? No. Purge your blood. Purge your blood. Purge oh, your really? It's like medicine. This is natural medicine, well, not pharmacy. Well, you can't look at a bottle, see it down the line. This is natural medicine. You're in a with your kidney, gas, tone, blood, and impotence, giant pain, pressure, sugar. You know what you much thing, pain, thing is for? The cure, the cure of the earth. This? Yeah, well. Right. It's like alkaline? Natural alkaline. Natural alkaline. Oh, Listen, you can type in down the line. The benefits are urinary tract, kidney, gas, stone, brother, impotence, giant pain, pressure, sugar, immune system, constipation, brother, stone, kidney, stone, and may help to prevent cancer. Type it in. You know what? I, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come to Jamaica because I heard about uh, how natural you get into. First time. <laughs> oh, yeah, you came before me? Yeah, I said, well, I'm going. Uh, <laughs> my first time drinking coconut um, water in Jamaica. Come here, come All here, right. come here, give me. Put on this shirt. Put on this shirt. This is the traditional way, you see? Just put your bag. Okay, drink it like that. Yeah, yeah man, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Traditional way. First time, traditional way. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That's the traditional way. Traditional way. Yeah, man. The so juice are running. Run. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I've drank this in Miami before, but just to describe the taste, it's a, uh, it's watery, but it's like a milkyish type of taste. Mother, uh, Mother Earth, milk. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real, man. Mm -hmm. you, you, you might get it in Miami, but then I get the flavor. Everything different in, in Jamaica. Jamaica, man. <laughs> so come here, give me this. All right. Hold it so, right? Go ahead. No, man, you go on this, man. All right. <laughs> See, Jamaica flag, eh? It has a lift every day. Because they don't do a good place. Who no come on to Jamaica? I need to know the acre. Coverage, See, ya? See? Mountains, landscape, nice people, Rasta, folk, man. How are you, miss? Everything natural here, guys. But I'm interested in um, some of the herbs you guys uh, have uh, created. There's a you tea. You need to talk proper when you come here. How do I talk proper? Dandelion. Dandelion. Oh, me chat properly. <laughs> Dandelion. So, what are you going to say? Uh, it's not Yankee fashion, sir. It's, <laughs> yes, boss. Dandelion. 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 No, type it in, yes. Yeah, dandelion. Dandelion. All right. Man, come here. All right, nice to meet you. Man, come here, man. You know what I mean? Man, come here. Oh, okay. Come visit this man right so, here. Uh, that's your name? No, man. Fuck again, man. When you're going to say a Yankee accent, come out here for us, you old man. Jelly man, come Linky man. <laughs> hey, I need to be a little bit longer. Come on here, yeah, man. Jelly man. He's going to teach you. <laughs> 
greens, you know. Our best pan out, go get up, go get up, my amigo. Oh, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah the blogger. Yeah, nice From to meet Panama you. Panama City, Panama. I haven't been to Panama yet, but Colombia, Colombia Venezuela. Let me give you some song now. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Sete, ocho, nueve, nueve diez. diez. Habla español un poquito. Mi Mr. Green, en que es suavecito. Momento, senorita, se me island well grande. Take it to the grill, armo, be pan a Friday. Take back to me casa, cookies and rock and pollo. When you back away, make you no suave take over. Make you twinkle it to and say you must be suave soldier. Yaga, yeah, yaga, yo, sir, let me now. Long, long time we no have the nice time. Long, long time we no really feel fine. Long, long time we no move a waistline. Long, 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 long. Long, long time we no have the nice time. Long, long time we no really feel fine. Long, long time we no move a waistline. Long, 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 long. Mr. Green, Senor Green, 876 Instagram. Or Mr. Green, long, long time YouTube and all digital platforms globally. Panther, my general, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta no, cook, you open the jelly. So you gotta, after you yeah. drink it, you gotta cut it open. Yeah. They call this the meat, the jelly meat. Okay, let's get the logic. Oh, okay, but I need to pick the spit and tell about the... Okay, oh, okay, you scrape it off like that. Mm -hmm. I want this, hey, how, how I drink this? Uh, That's this a uh, tea? Half tea, one teaspoon at half. One teaspoon to a cup of hot water. Okay. And you can also put it in a smoothie, your punch, your anything at all. Only soap in the dredging. Type in dandelion, you see the benefits. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's also help to build your immune system. Since COVID, we don't wear no mask. So, yeah. That's feed natural. You keep your body up. I've been looking forward to coming here and trying some of your natural yeah, yeah, products that they have here. Yeah, Let me try. Okay, what you got? Give me this. Wow. See one here? Pick it up, see that? In Jamaica, you feel fresh from the tree. Fresh from the tree, my boss. You want to take the right one? See that? We can't wash it off. Take it up, man. Mosquito, don't you? Yeah, mosquito on it. No, no man, see that? See that another? See? This one? Yeah, man, take it. Can I come? Nah, nah, it's okay. Oh, no, good. Yeah, You're good, man. I come to you, come from. Well, too bad. Take the camera. So uh, basically, a lot of Jamaicans just eat from the land. Shit. Basically. You need this, and then you have the seed, you have the actual almond fruit. Okay, inside. The seed inside. Naturally, when they are like this, they break them open. Yeah, you break that open? Yes, and there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a food inside of it. You see? But what's inside now, when it's dry, yeah. some dry one on the ground. And the one where you pick up and throw it, that can't eat. You know what I mean? Eat that throw you. Don't know wrong with it. So wash it up and eat it. Happy. When it ripe, it fall from the tree. It's good. Okay. No, no, wrong. I'm going to make sure I put you on there. Yeah. Please do. I follow you on your thing. You know, well, mucho you dinero, capasa, venerita. Mucho dinero, capasa, chica. <laughs> Mr. Green, long, long time YouTube or any digital platform globally. Up. Rest My brother, my brother. Right, right, right. right. Cool. Manners. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's a Jamaican reggaeton vibe. Yeah. Original Spanish country. Before we we're anything else, we we're Spanish. Mm -hmm. So Jamaica. So that's why the reggaeton vibe are real bueno. We have Ochos Rios. We have <laughs> mucho places with Spanish names. So that's why I give back to the Spanish community with my song, Senor Mr. Green, a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Mucho Island Capasa. Everyone, okay? All right, cool. Okay. You just look out the juice out of the, the skin. Yeah, you're trying to get it down to the seed. After you finish, you take a, a stone and you break it over. Oh, wow. There it is. It's, yeah, it's an almond in there. And is it like, is a good nutty taste to it? Yeah, man. Say, try it. All right. All right, guys, we're going to try one. Let's see, let's see, right, right. Yeah, that's like an almond. That's how you get almond. Yeah. <laughs>
Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh, yes. It's an almond. Me and next to them. Is that that's really it? That's where they get the almond from? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where they get the almond from. Wow! Almond, almond, you see a big mm. yeah. When it comes to Jamaica, the L drop off. <laughs> the almond. Okay. Right? The L drop off when it comes to Jamaica. <laughs> okay. So it's no more almond. It's almond. Almond. When it comes almond. Almond. It's not A L M O N D. When it comes to Jamaica, the L drop off. I'm inclined to believe this guy has an American accent too. He, he, he chooses not to use it. No, well already I can use it, but I'm in Jamaica, which is my country, so apart from it. So this is the spoon where yeah. you cut. I take it off, right? Yeah, one. And then I just scrape, right? Yeah, you scrape around the edge. No, my God. No, like you scrape, like yeah, perfect. You see. Yeah, man. Yeah, get the hang of it. All right, guys. So here you go. I'm gonna try some of the jelly. I know y'all want to see it, so I'm, shout out to all my Jamaicans, all right? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. It's like something I can cook. Very good. Okay. So what is this, jerk? Made from whole natural herbs, bushes. Okay. Indigenous herbs and spices. Nothing from the shop except the salt. Check it out. Okay. So it's a type of jerk? All right. Let's see. Mind you eat your fingers. Count them before you start eating. Uh, so might go missing. <laughs> so this is what the jerk sauce on it. I mean, I checked you know, if you are journalists. This is good. Like, just to compare it, it's, bad, man. You have to buy anything. You it's like a barbecue-ish type of flavor to it, but it's it's smoky, but it's not too I, over spicy. Kentucky can't find my flavor. You want <laughs> no, but I like it. I, if I I would put it on Kentucky Fried Chicken. The the sauce, so this jerk sauce. Man say Kentucky cannot find its flavor. Kentucky don't know nothing about this right here. All right, guys. So I end up buying two of his products right here. I'll let you know how they are. But so far, I think they're good. I'm Based off is his jerk chicken sauce, which is amazing. I'm gonna give you the best way to do the dandelion. One teaspoon, and you dry. You don't boil it. Add the water. Pour it. Close the pot. Five minutes. And use a little natural honey. Not processed honey, natural honey, and a little milk, like a spoonful. Mad. You don't want it done. All right, man. I Five mornings after that, your penis up, you got to kiss in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Can't aim straight. Can't aim. Can aim. You think me at the line? Yeah, man. Try it. Try it. All right, boss. Yeah, man, big up yourself. Go. Hey, appreciate you. you. Try it. I try it. Right, no money, money, back. I try it. All right, guys. Uh, wow. <laughs> this is just our first stop, man. Let's see what else we got going on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the bauxite company. They're digging bauxite. So you see, they're digging on the hill. Yeah. What is that? What are they doing? And uh, bauxite and cement. Making uh, aluminum and, and cement. So they dig some for aluminum and they dig some for cement. They dig the mall for cement because it's like all the hill is white mall. Okay. So Jamaica has its own, like we get our own cement from the hills. So all the, the, the dirt is natural, minerals. Like Jamaica is like a cash cash country. Every, every, every soil is, has value. Even if you dig up out there, the soil is there. It's full it, of it can be used to help build the country. Yeah, that's interesting because a lot of other countries they have to import that they type of stuff, and stuff. you guys don't have to yeah, as long as you have these countries. Nice, nice. And so uh, that guy that was uh, singing, Mr. Green, so he's an artist. Yeah, he's an artist. Is Jamaica just uh, full of more artists than anything? Yeah, Jamaica, because music is like the escape. Property. Music is poor people's escape. You know, that is how everybody in the ghetto see their way out and help their family. You know, it's an escape for me, it's an escape for everybody. You know, like this is, this is like the only job that you don't need a, 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 like a resume. Got it. <laughs> in Miami, in most, most hoods all over the United States, uh, urban area, sports. Basketball, um, football. Sports, sports is also an escape here. 
but sports is like the, 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 the window is narrow so it's good everybody believe in it there's a lot of runners jamaica's receiving both us off a pole may open the gate for people to recognize you know jamaican runners more now but like sports is also an escape because a lot of jamaican footballers are going overseas playing club leagues and all of that they love jamaicans because our endurance is very very good you know we can run on a field for a very long time <laughs> what, so, what 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 is that like the because it's we, we we're located close to the equator so jamaica heat and the gravity the gravitational pull is stronger here than anywhere else because as close as you get to the equator the more gravitational pull it is so we're so used to this gravitational pull here because the more the gravity pulls you it's hard it's harder to run fast in jamaica so our bodies are trained yeah, from the gravitational pull this, so when it, we travel overseas and do those competition where the gravitational pull is not that you know it's easy for us to run you know it's like when we run in Jamaica because we're so close to the equator the gravitational pull is here so it builds our muscles and also our food or our soil is full of minerals so it's like we are one with the soil that's why Jamaicans are say yo we yam make we run so fast because we are one with the soil we get a lot of our food from the soil you guys get a lot of processed food the yeah. regular Jamaican household is from the soil because the food is cheaper from the soil the food in the supermarket is very expensive right so we clear we we, we stick close to the soil so that helps us to, to rejuvenate the energy of the soil so all the energy you see bold putting out is the energy of the earth you know this is why we can have our own cement all they do is dig right there they just dig the hills make the cement because it's raw mall that they use to make the cement they go on the next side they get bauxite you go in the countryside you get the red dirt you go in kingston you get the white mall and sometimes in country they have both bauxite and mall so this is the um, mall pit the factory right here yes yeah, cement factory cement factory yeah, yeah. so it's like make it send it across on this machine to over here to the ports and the ships come and they pick it up that's carib cement you ever hear about carib cement that cement the old caribbean so all the cement that make all the houses in the caribbean is coming from here. coming from here wow much credit to jamaica um and their program um you know encouraging kids and um people to get into the sport of um running but yo like you guys dominated yeah because i show you a lot of people asking why and i have like i'm a person like i study science and i study you know environment so i'm realizing like they're saying yes it's food where like there are other caribbean countries that are close to the equator but jamaica is right on the equator line right on the equator line and people must understand the equator is like the center of the earth that's where the most gravitational pull is you know that's where our culture is so rich that's why soil is so rich you understand because there's a lot of that a lot of magma and we have a lot of hot springs you know so the sedimentary rocks and all these things are very high here you know so jamaica is just like as i said the root of the earth you know everything starts here <laughs> Yeah, but everything starts here. So right here is the head office of the electric company, right here. And the weird thing about it is, it's a privately owned company. So the country does, the government doesn't own it. That's the weirdest thing. That I think that's that's what hurts in the who, country. Who, this the, who owns the, the, who? the government sold the company to to private owners. And they just like basically collect tax from it or basically owns a percentage. Oh man. Yeah, so they can raise the electric bill. This is just one electric company. It's like, um, how many electric companies you have in America? Uh, it all depends on the state. It all depends yeah, on the state. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's there's more than one. Well, more than one. Yeah. We just have one. And they're privately owned. And they can raise whatever they want, whenever they want. So I think that's the only drawback here. That's why people are, you know, going into solar energy, investing so much. Yeah, in we solar. had uh, in, in Florida, we have FPNL. Florida Power and Light is a private-owned company, but they are they have influence in um, politics. They put money in politics to disrupt the 
think so. They wanted to do solar power in um, Florida, but uh, FPNL try to block their license. Yeah, block, block, the, it's the block the same their same thing here. Wow. They block everything that's that's changing the monopoly. So they, this is called a monopoly when just one company running the whole thing. Yeah, so there's there's good business in monopoly for them because they finance the election and put whoever they want in power so they can continue their monopoly. That's why we can't have a, a next phone network because they, they are paying them to keep every other network out. You know, like in America, you can just go inside of a store and get a phone zero down. You know, AT&T was trying to come here. A lot of people was trying to come here, but they won't grant them the license. You know, so that's us, how the system works. You know, we all know it works in every way. Everybody that is in power, they spend money to keep themselves in power. You get me? So that's how it works. This is Mountain View Avenue. You know, one of the big, big ghetto. You know? One of the biggest ghettos here? Biggest ghettos here. It's a police station right there. You know, this is the road that connects the airport to Kingston. Instead of you going downtown, you can take downtown, which is a longer way, but if you want to get to uptown quick, you have to go through Mountain View. The whole area is controlled by the, the party that is in power now, Jamaica Labour Party. And it's the biggest, the biggest ghetto in Kingston because it's big. Like, it starts from that stoplight, goes all the way down to Excelsior. The, the, the main road, no matter where you're from, you have to drive here because it's the shortest way to get to uptown from the airport. So all government officials, everybody, you have to drive to the ghetto. Drives here. That's why they make these roads so good. Is this do you realize how the road is so smooth and nice? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Always have people passing. So when you say ghetto, you know, a ghetto can mean low income housing. Yeah, that's what it means. So um a lot what what are people paying rent here as far as people are paying rent in a ghetto? <laughs> like oh really? Some people do like the, the commercial, like the residential ghetto, they pay, but they pay like a hundred US a month. But some of these is this owned by yeah, the family. Owned by, most of these is owned by the family. Because a lot of people live here for like 20, 30 years, they pass on the house to their family, you know? Got it. Yeah. And most of them you see open businesses and build up their houses. A lot of people like big up big houses and stuff. So it's not when I say ghetto it's not about violence, it's about the, the, the standard of living. Okay. Yeah, this is one of the most peaceful areas in Kingston. Like anybody, you see the females walking their kids, yeah. everybody outside, music playing everywhere. You see how much bars you see. Yeah, because it's a every, it's a heavy traffic area. A lot of tourists pass here, a lot of tourists stop, you know, and buy food and everything. And there was, there's a big school down there, you know, so everything is, is on the stretch. There's a lot of bars, a lot of everything. A lot of bars here. Yeah, a lot of bars. Well, you know what? I was a crazy night with a taxi driver, right? And he was bringing me through, uh, I don't know if it was this area, but he was telling me like a lot of tourists will want to come and stay in this area. Yeah. Well, not in this, I don't know if it was this yeah, one, but. Yeah, but the tourists like the ghettos because there's a lot of parties going on. That's what I'm saying. Like, ghetto doesn't mean violence because I want to get that out of people's head. Ghetto means low income. So ghetto is like the most fun place to be if you want to experience the culture but at the same time some ghettos can be dangerous but at this time right now the, the mindset of the people is about money and entertainment because the place has been locked down for two years too many cars all these people come in here to buy food <laughs> you see the type of vehicle like you know people want to eat working some working class people like this is the LTS food spot I know in Kingston. What's so special about this spot right here? Is 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 Idol. Idol. Yeah. I don't know what Idol is. Rasta. Oh, right. Rasta. Okay. Mm -hmm. Means no meat. You oh, know. like vegetarian? Yeah, vegetarian. No meat. Okay. That's a commercial. <laughs> Check it out. Alright, 
seven basics and more. So they got me some soup right here. Let's check it out. Some soup. Not soup. Soup has meat. Sip, no me. Okay, all right. Don't you ever call it. Don't you ever. I agree. Sounds like an entertainer. All right. So we're gonna sip it. Thank you. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, so good, guys. Oh. Yeah. What's in it? So we're gonna have him come explain this this sip, which is really good. Oh, this is so good. This is a turn car meal. This is a turn car meal. Corn meal. Oh, it's a corn meal. Okay, there we go. Mm. Mm, yeah. Really good. Really soft. Here it is, guys. Right here. It reminds me of Mayan Mule, but softer. This guys, this is like Mayan Mule. Mayan Mule in, in Creole is like a Haitian um, corn type meal as well. But this one is real nice and softer. Nice and fluffier right here. It tastes really good. What is this restaurant right here? So this is a vegan restaurant. So we have a vegan restaurant. So it's all vegan, all natural. We make a lot of stuff from, from scratch. So, you know, we started like years ago, like back in 1990, back in 1980. And then we moved from Duany Park to here in say 1990s. Um, this restaurant is in the vicinity of what we consider Franklin Town, um, um, Vineyard Town. As you can see, this is the football field. What we do, there's a school right there. So that's Vineyard Town Primary and the high school is around there. So you, you're looking way up there. That's another vegan restaurant. That's where Bob Marley used to come and play football. So that is Osa Dread. What? Everybody know, yeah, House of Dread. That's another what? restaurant up there. Which one? The one with the flag? That's a flag, right. So Bob Marley used to come and play football right on this field. The Marley's, they come. So any, any little, and then we have, so we have the Franklin Town CDC, what we're seeing. So what you're seeing is, even there are Wamba Marketplace, you can go and get your African accessories. On Thursdays, we have greens. So several basics, country farmhouse, is what we do. We do soy products. So we do tofu, we do soy cream, we do gluten. You get all your natural products, like you get your, like what you had today. You have your, 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 your pinta bean sip. What is no. this? This is amazing right here. So it's a sip. It, it's pinta bean, all different type of beans, like spices, all different type of beans, so it enrich your body. So we don't do, so the bit different between sip, I was saying it in there, sip, no meat. Soup, meat. Sip, no Got meat. It. Right? Um, what else I must tell you? So we do our baked products as well. Um, we have functions from time to time, um, talking about African building, black history, we talk about black um, building nation. Here, uh, you do that? Yeah, uh, man, we do different talks, with different celebration. Um, we work with the community. We have a youth program where we help the youth. They come and they play football. Then we have reasoning. We have coaches. We have justice of the peace. I'm a counselor and I'm also a revolutionary speaker into ministry as well. And I'm the manager here for three and a half years. Oh. Since I've been here, it has been very uh, good. How important is there, uh, is it to have a vegan spot in Jamaica? It's the best thing to do because we have doctors that come here that sends their patients here. Why? Little bit or no salt is yeah. very good for you. Little bit or no sugar is good for you. And the unnecessary intake of meat. We need more greens, we need more vegetables, we need more fruits, more natural stuff. And that is what we do right here. We open from Monday to Saturday. Monday to Fridays, from 9 a.m. to actually 6 p.m. On Saturdays, we open from 10 a.m. to around 6. We still go to 6 because people are still coming. It's important to have a vegan, natural store in an area such as this. Why? Limit doctor visits. It limits you wondering why you're feeling sick, the overweight, the obesity. And I don't want to say obesity only because there are some people who are big in body but they are still healthy. 
you know but the more you take the intake of greens herbs spices and then not only that what this space offers is a mental mental support because what it does it helps you to also listen to positive things the negative music is what we don't do here hear what this is the spot to be when you come to Jamaica come to Jamaica you get your accessories you get your Jamaican stuff that you can go away with and you also get your food you get your fruits you get your vegetables it's a legacy you have a lot of Rastafarians come here a lot of Rastafarians come here because not only because of the products also to find a space where you can talk about things you meet each other you help yourself to food yattis other places talk about patties what we do with yattis is we have vegetable in the middle some places have meat we have vegetable in the body of the patties in the yattis so yattis versus patties sip versus soup it, it's more of a, you get your spices your turmeric we do a lot of ginger a lot of garlic those things are are, are multifaceted natural juices like cane juice where we are located we're located at 3d in our road you can't miss it you know just as you come off the airport make sure if it's on is, is it online yeah then yeah and what information definitely online. we started this company as a family business at our home at the home in in um Duane park rasaimo the diagalar family yes, blessings my brother we have people come from all over this was an establishment we used to make our own products we still do you know but it's not so big as how we had started but it's still feeding the nation in more than one way and i hope that you all come back to jamaica Thank and you. find several basics country farmers cheating a road a wemba marketplace all at one shop a wambe means a wambe means you can get everything at one spot thank you man we really appreciate it and we're gonna make sure we come visit you man you should you should all come right. back you all should right. come okay back. i asked them about um about uh, marley about marley we playing here so so alan skill cole is one of our international local footballers alan skill cole bob marley peter touch the whalers they all pass through house address over the years a lot of musicians artists speakers doctors lawyers came on the field this field this field here and over there is another field that you're looking at across over there that you're looking at is another field and we believe that football and music is a part of our jamaican culture it has carried our culture it's just that persons are diluting it but i want to tell you like a bob marley the whalers alan skill cole all of those names that i just called pass through this area this area is a phenomenal it's an historic area and we make sure that we keep that legacy rasaimo Empress, you know, Icelia, the Diagalar family, the not the, the Franklin Town CDC. If you want to keep a party or a wedding or a reception, there's a spot around there. You have JP's Justice of the Peace that you can go and sign. You have school, you have the high school, the primary school. Listen, this is the place to be all at one spot. So we were just talking about um, different diets, uh, and he says you only eat fish, you only eat seafood, seafood, shrimp, fish. Anything that's in the sea, crabs, lobster. Was it always like that? No, it's not always like that. It's just a Rasta thing. I mean, did you did you pick that up or? Yeah, well, I've, I've I, I grew up around a lot of Rastas and and vegetarians. All my friends that I was growing up with were vegetarians. Right. So you know, we were up on the end, so you cook up a, a pot. I'm used to every day cooking idle, 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 and then. Because I used to eat chicken and burgers and all that right, straight through high school and, and college and everything But then I realized that, yo, Ital food tastes real good, isn't it? Okay Ital food tastes real good So I'm like, yo, you can really season food this good to make it taste like meat You know? And, and, and Ital food with the less salt, sodium yeah, because I had a blood pressure issue at the time when I realized that I was eating too much salt. You know, so I realized that Ital is, 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 is the perfect way to go. It's going to be less salt, less fat, you know, less everything that's going to hurt you. I, for one, have been around um, some Jamaicans or, well, co workers. And I remember we're working with this one guy, um, and he will, he doesn't eat pork. So that was something interesting. That would, like, is that the same thing here? Like, yeah, man. Most, even not even just Rastas. Most people don't like pork, but Jamaican is is known for their pork. Okay, just to make yeah, it clear. Yeah, Jamaica is known for. Oh, pork. what's that? What's that? It's cool. Micro University. It's a teacher's college. Wow, it's nice. Yeah, it's big. 
Yeah, it's a teacher's university. This is where the teachers go to learn to teach. Okay. A lot of Jamaicans don't eat pork or this? There's certain people consciously not eating pork. Certain people consciously don't eat pork. But Jamaicans love pork. Okay. Like, I would say 70% of the country eats pork. Okay. You know? And like 99% eats jerk chicken. Uh -huh. <laughs> 99%. 99% eats jerk chicken. You know? Uh -huh. yeah, but you either have rasta or eat chicken, you know? Jerk chicken because they love it so much, you get me? Alright. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's the jerk chicken and pork is like the main jerk stuff that they like. Yeah, yeah when you, and a lot of places that jerk chicken, and pork, they don't jerk fish. Okay. Yeah. So fish, fish is like, fish is more expensive than than chicken. When you, when we say jerk, right? Like it means grill. Grill. Okay, yeah. that's what it means. Yeah. We say we say jerk. You say grill. Okay. Because I thought it just meant spice, like spicy, yeah, spicy. Hot. It means that also, but it's the form of cooking. Ah, yeah. jerk, jerk your chicken. Yeah, you have a jerk sauce and the jerk on the grill. Oh, the grill sauce and ah, oh, here we yeah, go. You guys here call we it go. Grill. We call it jerk. Oh, okay, there we yeah. go. So what you guys call grill, we call it jerk. You know, so uh, we got Maggie. We're we're hero circle. Yeah, this is where the, the the minister of justice, hero circle. All the heroes are buried here. You know, oh, national heroes are buried here. This big circle is a roundabout. All oh. the national heroes are buried here. Military? No, not military. Not U.S. veterans like that. Not nothing like that. Like, like, um... I realized I must go around the time. <laughs> so, heroes like the Maroons, all the peoples that fight for freedom. Okay. So basically, freedom fighters. Politicians that are famous for fighting for freedom, maroons and you know indigenous people that are famous for fighting freedom. They're there. They're there. And, okay. And they, for recently, they have been using it mostly for politicians. Okay. Oh, so they still use it. <laughs> yeah, but it's a very famous circle. It's called Eero Circle. Are any national, artists is there? Anybody? That, um, I think Bob Marley. They they have something they're auctioning for Bob Marley to be to to to, to thing there. So, like a, a memorial or something, mm -hmm. but that's not where his grave is. Yeah, they they, they think they're putting um, a tombstone, maybe? Yeah, I think they're putting up a statue here soon. Yeah, this is the crab spot. This is a crab circle. I don't know if you can go outside. You have to catch that sign. Well, let me go outside. Yeah, I saw it when we pulled up. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got um, some crab. stew or crab right here. Nice. Boiled crab. You guys are used to eating it this hot? Yeah, <laughs> let me crack it. Mm. Nice and spicy. Wow, no, no. That's the juicy part right here. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking into this thing. Oh, oh, look at all that meat, guys. <laughs> So good. How long did you stew the the crab? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Two hours. Sometimes twenty. Okay. Type of where them come from? Them come from Saint Thomas. Them go and pick up. Mm -hmm. I just shell them. Soft and clarinet and shell them harder. Nothing. Oh, I'm from the my family from the Caribbean. We know how to eat <laughs> crab. We good. What? And you know what about the so special about this broth is the the spices on the end. Let me show you guys. Got the nice spices right here, and it really you really can taste it in the inside of the crab meat. It's really good right here. 
is it called skin in Jamaica? So that's soup right there. That's cow skin. Sip. Okay. Yeah, this is soup, not soup. Okay, the skin of the cows in here. Nice, right here. What other vegetables you you try to use for this uh, soup right here? They use dashi pork, pork and chicken neck. Sometimes beef. Oh, look at the beef bone. Mm -hmm. How long you been cooking? Um, serving the community here. It's my, really my auntie style. She's not here, but we she's not here. We run it. Okay, how long your auntie been here doing her thing? More than 30 years. And she, she's the one that showed you how to... Yeah. Okay, shout out to your auntie, all right? All right. What's auntie her name? Kay. My auntie named Kay. Oh, right here? Okay. Kay. All right, shout out to Auntie Kay. <laughs> all right. All right, nice. Oh, everybody has a name on it. Yeah, yeah. So, like in Haiti, not to compare Haiti to Jamaica, but um, Haiti has a lot of homegrown tourism, meaning most of its tourism is people who were already from Haiti, or you know, family of. Mm -hmm. Is from that and now for for Kingston? Um, could you describe the type of tourism that comes here? All right, the tourism that comes Kingston mm -hmm. is homegrown, along with. Tourism that comes Kingston is homegrown along with like see there's a statue, not to cut. Yeah, I see a statue right there. Yeah, one of the heroes. The tourism is, is most based based on the fame. Bob Marley. Bob Marley did a lot for Kingston. You know, people used to see Kingston as a violent city and all of that. You get me? Yeah. And most people like the resorts, but Bob Marley made Kingston entertainment capital, dance hall. Make Kingston an entertainment capital. You know, make people more comfortable being in Kingston. You see me? So, so even now, after so so long, he's still yeah. his legacy is still, still here. Helping. Because it it is the Rastafarian culture embraces his legacy. So basically Rastafari took the torch of his legacy and carried it into this generation. So the Rastafarian culture has a lot to do with Bob Marley's legacy. Because we're the ones that are in, endorsing him, you know? Representing his words. You see me? So this circle, the very this famous is circle, woman, woman, boys and girls. Okay. So it's all boys and all girls. One half is all boys, the next eight is all girls. And that's a school for? Boys and girls. Regular school? Them, regular oh, high school. Okay. One of the top high schools in Kingston. Okay. In, in, regis in like marks and stuff. Kingston is a place where people come to party. People go to the resorts to, to enjoy themselves and, and stuff. But when you want the dance hall, the, the real, real authentic dance hall, Kingston. Like people from Jamaica that has family in Jamaica, they come here. But also people that are just hearing off the music and the culture, they come here. They say some of the best uh, beaches are in the north of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So no, Kingston's not say, so much famous for its beaches. I wouldn't say some of the best beaches. The only reason why people say that is because the hotels are there. Kingston don't have a lot of beachfront hotels. The beachfront is like mostly residential areas like downtown, right. waterfront and such. We don't have much beaches in Kingston like sand lines like in the north coast because they have more land. We have less land space here. So we have only a limited coastline. So the coastline is either populated by private beach or companies, you know, building villas and stuff. It's not like they're better. It's just that limited coastline. The whole north coast isn't as populated as much. So they can do whatever they want. Kingston is just one city on the south coast. And most of the North Coast beaches, like they, they buy sand anyway. So although you have the natural sand beaches, you still have these hotels that build up in areas that don't have sand and they just buy sand and put there and just, the water is beautiful anyway. There's a lot of reef. So the wave breaks before it comes. So it allows them to have beaches. In Kingston, we don't have a lot of reefs. So the wave don't get a lot of place to break. That's why in Portmore, they have Elsha Beach and they have Fort Clarence. But those beaches, the, the water is like is, is eroding the, the sand away based on the, the reefs because there's not much reefs to break the waves. The beaches are not much popular in Kingston because we have, we have heavier waves here.
All right, guys, so we're at a dispensary. Um, Arbonz! <laughs> so basically, uh, uh, about around five years past uh, that uh, now it's allowed for people, Jamaicans to um, have a dispensary and uh, s uh, smoke weed here, I guess, right? Free for both ganja. So it's legal to smoke weed here? Yeah. All right. So this video is not about promoting the use of uh, ganja, but we're just going to discover the, the the history of the use of here. All right. So we're going to Hi. All right. All right. I'm here. All right. Welcome back. Okay. Starbucks, look at the beautiful wall. Hello, how are you? This is our earring. This is our earring. Oh, nice, nice. So, how, how long has dispensaries been allowed here? Five years, too? Or it's been longer than that? Yeah. Five years, around that. Five years. So, for us to sell it legally, medically, um, to treat symptoms such as anxiety and other things that persons might take it for recreational use as well so yeah. so recreational medical mm -hmm. uh, use uh, and i'm a foreigner what do i need <laughs> you need all you need is a valid government id as long as it has your picture and your birthday on it and you need a doctor's recommendation so once you have those oh and the doctor's recommendation is chart um the charge of a thousand Jamaican dollars, so if you, oh, I can get one here, yeah, yeah you can get digital, one here. You can digitally talk to a doctor on the phone, all right? Um, it's through MD Link, that's the service that we use, right it's here. over there, okay? So that's what we'd use, we'd sign you up on it. Um, and you can, it's a quick phone call with the doctor, and they can verify you to be able to purchase anywhere in Jamaica. How was life before dispensaries? How was that <laughs> running from police? <laughs> No, oh gosh, like, you know, like, you know, I, it, well, it's a lot easier now. I can definitely say that it's easier for us to be able to partake. It was a known thing. Well, I don't know if there was a stereotype. This growing up, this is my first time in Jamaica, right? Mm -hmm. like, well, the stereotype was basically Jamaican smoke ganja. Like everybody. And so we always think like Jamaican smoke ganja. This is, this is from Miami. Oh. Oh, okay. So I, I don't know if there was a lot of truth to that stereotype. <laughs> there are some truths. There are some Jamaicans who don't partake in ganja, right? Let's we'll be honest. Well, medicinally, we have quite a few. Now that it, now that it's patients here, now that it's legal, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how has that um, affected the criminal system here? Life is better. Life is better. Let's cry. Less crime. What about the past offenders? Oh, that's that's something that I'm auctioning for. Like everybody that has charges, they're still not dismissing them. And even though Blanche is legal, you have people still in incarceration for cannabis. So that's that's. So from my understanding, they're telling me also, guys, you can smoke in public. It's not like inside your house. You can be outside smoking in public. So there you go. All right, guys. So we are actually at another dispensary. And uh, this one is interesting. That we're in the backyard of it. Ganja airline. This is a ganja plane. <laughs> ganja. So this is, uh, they do activities here sometimes. This is like a smoke house where, you know, unruly people come and smoke wow and then you could be in a plane chilling yeah, chilling in the plane you got the bar right here the restaurants and everything bar there restaurant piece of spot there guys all right i'm gonna try to get in the plane guys <laughs> you know it's gordon the ganja airways <laughs> it's like you're in a let me show you guys uh, like a video game like <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Got a lot of uh, mosquitoes up in here though. Let me get out of here. <laughs> yeah, they probably need to clean this up a little. Got some mosquitoes up in there. Yeah, all right, <laughs> But uh, just the vibe alone, the the vibe, I get it, man. What's the name of this place again? Higher Herbals. Higher Herbal. So this is their bar area, guys, and then there's a pizza spot right there, and then in the front is a there's a dispensary. Restaurant. So they do Korean barbecue there. Okay. This one is like okay. It's a rice place. Like everything on the menu is with rice. Okay. 
Another lounge area. Barely can see anything. All right, guys. So they, interestingly enough, they have a lounge area here. We get to see it. Oh, they got the TV. So if you want to watch something going on. Oh, okay. It's good. This is a real nice chill spot just to just hang out. Be outside play dominoes. Gotcha, gotcha. Come in here with a you know a nice empress. You know, smoke a spliff in the AC and watching some Steve RV. That's how we do. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we uh, let's see what else they got out here for us. Tasty's is like their number one um, place to get um, patties. They, apparently, they've been doing this since 1966, and so it's, if you come to Jamaica, it's like pretty much that's something that you have to eat from. Uh, so check out some of the patty selections they have here. other stuff they have chicken they have uh lunch meals soup but oh, this is called a cocoa bread so you put the patty inside of the cocoa bread you <laughs> you put that inside yeah, that so it's like a make a sandwich wow hello how are you ladies Hi, we are good. Uh, what is your best patty to um to eat here which beef. one the beef is the most famous yes Ch chicken do you like chicken? Beef, beef. Beef is the traditional, right? Yeah. What type of patties do you have here besides beef? Sure, I have jerk and chicken. Chicken, chicken with cheese and jerk with cheese. Okay. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. You heard what she said. Yeah. You heard that, right? <laughs> From my understanding, right, coming to one of these places and it being empty is suddenly impossible but right now it's kind of cool but there's times these places get packed guys i'm supposed to whoop, yeah. eat this and this together this yeah. bread yeah it's What's cocoa it? bread it's cocoa bread okay. cocoa bread and patty All open right. the cocoa bread so it's open. nice and soft wow yeah you gotta open the cocoa wow bread. it's nice and it's soft buttery it's butter inside you're not supposed to eat it yet. <laughs> sweet. Yeah. It's so, sweet. Yeah, so put the patty inside of it now. Okay, put yeah, the nice flaky nice patty. Yeah. We close it up. Okay. And it's a sandwich right now. It's a patty sandwich. Yeah, you know. Really good, guys. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the dough. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this is when you come from the dispensary. Yeah, I know the guy. You might want to eat this. <laughs> you might want to try one of this. Yeah, what? Well, I know the guy. So you're trying one of this. And yeah, guys, look, cheese. this is the beef one with cheese in it, and it's this lovely, really good right here. Oh my God, look at that, look at that. It's for a dub plate. No, you... this is a song. This is a song. Yeah, but because people used to hear my name in dub plates, every time they hear a song, they think that it's a dub plate. They hear Pantherson in that song, they think it's a dub plate. But this is a song, man. Yes, yeah, so me see myself, the artist that big up the producer and thing there. Yeah. Artist called Brutal Crankstar. It's from Barbados. Number one dancer artist in the Barbados. Just got signed by Sony. Actually waiting on this track. We did the video already. You understand? The summer work we do video from the same time I record this song. Waiting on the, the mixed version. Sandman is mixing it. What monumental tracks were produced? Alright. I used to have a studio in Radios and this is my second studio in Cherry Gardens. The most monumental track is um, recording here is Skilly Bang Wap Wap. You see me? Every and Skilly Bang Mood remix. Every Skilly Bang that was released for 2022 was recorded here. You see me? And my, my tracks that I produce also from um, Elephant Man, 
Javelani, you understand, Pebble King, all of my artists that I signed to my label, Slang Banger, Classical, you see me? Okay. And the YK Castro, Vice in here too. You see me, possible word. Most of my productions, Vice in here, but outside my productions, 90% of the skilly being that you're hearing right now, recording in here. You see me? So, it's a, it's a, it's a legendary studio. I tell you, okay, watch your style now. Just go up on pantasun.com. I post everything. Yeah, okay. on my website, you see every artist that ever come through my studio because there's a video of them. And that camera up there is always recording. So even if my I'm not here, that is recording. So, you see me? Yeah, and all of these footages are being uploaded to iCloud, so they're available anytime I want. But what may I say? A whole heap of great artists come here, as I say. Check out my website, you see the full list. You see the full blog, everything. Yeah, and then greatness is after this. We grimy, we no crook, ah. Different scene like movie, we no droopy. King time, we unique, that's why them choose we. Fat house from the hill, that's so we soon be. Living like a movie, like movie, we no trophy. King time we unique, that's why them choose we. But toast on the hill, they so we soon be. We say we living like a movie. Yeah, we are fit a bit up and anywhere we go, the girl them waiting no a king time with no Eskimo. The girl they brought her, she's so sexy, so I said she want to treat me like a Pepsi, so she feeding on me. What? Up on the road, cause we no flexible The girl, them want me bust up on them breast nipple Give me the pussy now, cause me no get rid It's prominent, she bring in all our bestie too Give me the pussy now, cause me we vex with ya Like movie <laughs> So, um, let me ask you, um, uh, what is your goals? The score Huh? <laughs> okay, you got um. My you goal is to score. You understand? That's what a goal is for. You have to score. You can't have the goal and you're not scoring. So, a lot of people are going to tell you a bag of things. My goal is to always be scoring. You understand? Yeah, I'm so big up God, God above all things. I said, I'm so nasty. You understand? Yeah. So, you mentioned that was a big part of your life. Yeah. Um, growing up. Um, family members, uh, Rastafarian. Yeah, man. And so, uh... You make your discipline. You know... Your discipline, Queen Omega. You see me? Teach your discipline and patience. You see me? Teach your discipline and patience. So it's more, it's not really about the ear or... Um, it's just the discipline and patience. Because you have a patient. You have a farm outside. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, saying that everything but just do something that is forcing me to be patient because when you plant a seed you have to be patient and watch it grow so when I plant a seed outside it forces me to be patient that's how you learn patience a lot of people say oh me too we can't I don't know if you be patient just plant a seed you know, go out it every day get up a man in time like how you feed the dog that's why I have the animals around me like life plants and animals and you get up every day and feed them you know you get up every day and give you a due course to nature and to life yeah so we really like kind of different scope where we can't live and not let others live because by letting others live is feeding a dog so if you're a person if you don't have a pet you have to have a plant you have to have something of the earth that you're nurturing or else you're living for yourself if you don't have a child get a pet or an animal, or, or a plant. You see me? Pet, plant. That's it. If you don't have a child. So you nurture something. You have to give you a due course to life by nurturing something. So if you don't have a child to grow, grow a plant or grow a pet. But you have to be nurturing something or you'll be living as a self fish human being. You see me? Yeah, 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 yeah
So it's uh, nighttime now and it's Wednesday. So apparently they have something traditional that's been running for several years. It's called Ready Weddy. Sorry if I said it wrong, Wednesdays. So this is the night you gotta come out and see what's going on. I don't know what I'm gonna see, what to expect. Uh, let's do it. To find out what we're gonna see. Let's go. Everybody, oh, one order. 
My next thing on our birthday. You get your order? Yeah, everybody. Yeah. I want three of them. Uh, 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 what type of soup you got? Chicken. Chicken soup? Yeah. Oh, nice. Very nice. Tastes like a granny soup. Granny soup? Yeah, you remember your granny when you taste that. Oh, it's mm, it smells so good. Yeah. You smell the chicken right out of there, man. Yeah. How much is this soup, baby? Three dollars. Add two. Three dollars, huh? Well, let me take care of this. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. I'm too here, so welcome here, so. Chicken ready, ready, chicken. Who said the two? Who said the time? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first video, try to watch all the other episodes and catch up so you don't miss what's happening next. I guarantee you, it's going to be crazy. Yo.